as Marcus Garvey once said, a people without the knowledge of their past histories, culture, and origin is like a tree without roots. The American History Committee is a part of the Chesterfield Historical Society of Virginia. Our mission has been to help uh, research, collect, and preserve the very rich history of African Americans in the county. It is a group of persons who have dedicated their time volunteering to capture the history of African Americans in Chesterfield County. We work very diligently and we try to advance the appreciation of our work through many programs, exhibits, presentations. Well, one of the uh, main objectives of the committee is to record the stories. And I say stories because the stories come from research, from interviewing, from getting information from persons who grew up in the county, and making sure that we can actually, as close as possible, tell the history of the county through the stories that the persons have to share. We've been hard at work trying to promote and to um, preserve, and most importantly, share uh, this history. Some of it has been unknown, some neglected on purpose in, in some cases, forgotten history that uh, we feel definitely needs to be shared with the community. We continue to uh, work with the who, what, and then of the African American history contributions because our work uh, is a part of the threads of the tapestry of Chesterfield. There's been research uh, in four major areas. One has been the Four Score and More project that started really around 2008, I believe. It was just such an interesting task of talking with the 80 plus seniors in the community. So enlightening. And it was humbling to hear their stories because it was during a time of um, Jim Crow era and uh, the unequal opportunities for jobs, opportunities for education were limited. But also I was amazed at their tenacity and resilience and not giving up, continuing to uh, move forward. We also had an exhibit dealing with the early churches of our county. And so it's been really interesting to find out all the ways that the, the churches have impacted of the lives of uh, the citizens. We want to go further. We want to um, make sure that we peel back that onion and find out more information and how we can preserve it and how um, we can present it to you know, the children and the adults. We are a great resource, but we need more help with that. The exhibit that really was the most popular, we think, was the exhibit on segregated education in the county uh, prior to the Civil Rights Movement. The end goal is to tell the story. Everything that we do helps to make the story more complete. Each exhibit is just one part of the story. Again, it's a story, whether it's the schools, the churches, the communities, the education. An exhibit is just one part of it. The last uh, very important exhibit that was done was done uh, by Cornelius Mims. He was a lawyer, he was a teacher, but he also was the first African American who was on the Board of Supervisors in the county. The work continues and we need good people um, to uncover the, the roots and contributions of African Americans and we help shape Chesterfield. We like creativity. Um, we want ideas. There are so many things that I could name that we need to do and that we can do, but we need more persons to help assist us with that. It doesn't matter their age. 
but they have to be interested in history, in knowing, in knowledge, in research, finding out, digging for information. I think we're looking for people that are willing to work and have a passion for the true history. I would like for you to join the committee because you are of value to us. You have an important role and it is important um, that each of us realize that every effort that we make helps to capture that history and carry it on from now through future generations. Because we want the history to be known in the future. And to do this, we need participation. We need the energies from younger folks <laughs> um, to participate on the committee and come and see what you can find and learn from, you know, from the residents in Chesterfield. To honor our ancestors and what they went through in spite of the conditions at that time uh, is really what we want to make sure we never forget. The story has to be told, and we are the ones to tell it. The history of, of African Americans is the history of America. But if we don't know about our past, and so much of it has been neglected, um, you know, we all lose.